Hey everybody, I wanted to test, well I've already tested my my Lego hypothesis and I think I have formed a Lego theory now. As I was building that post office, I, I realized that when they were building their curved corner right here, they used four hinges and they stacked them on top of each other so there was no gap in between and they were able to put it where I put these two bricks so you, from your corner you've got five studs and five studs to make essentially a perfect 45 degree or a perfect turn and I remembered that on my new house building I and my Boston building I had used a four stud pattern too and essentially or not a four stud a four hinge pattern and you need four gaps on your hinges now this doesn't create a perfect circle but it allows you to create a perfect corner and you know I tested that out the issue that you're probably thinking well what does that matter and the reason I point this out is because when you're doing this if you don't have four hinges your hinges the last hinge and the studs won't line up and you can't get them to match. If you tried three, you wouldn't be able to lock it down. And then I thought, well, I wonder if this works. So this, you know, right here, five studs ended up being exactly four on top. When you throw a four plate on there so the hinges butt up against each other, then you go two more studs out. I've offset this so I don't run into my bricks. But you would go another two studs and you've actually increased your span by two studs and you and it hooks up and then if you go one more and you use a six by one plate on the bottom so you've again increased by two more studs you again go two more studs out on your base plate and it hooks up just perfectly creates a much more gradual arc and then I used, I think these were 12s, and I hooked these up as well. And as you can see, they go to right here. Uh, I, need a, I need a brick instead of a plate so they don't bind. But that actually hooks up and would create, that's about as big as you can get. I don't, I can't remember if they make one by plates any bigger than 12 studs long. I don't think they do. You can get bricks. 16 but I don't think you can get plates so that would be the biggest arc now I want to show that you have to get it back to there but this does not if you were to use it and straighten them out does not create a perfect 45 it creates slightly off if you look at this row of studs right here you can see that it doesn't match up quite perfectly but it does create a nice arc and yeah, I've got these so we're at straight but this pattern holds true. You start at five studs, five studs, and you go every two. For every two length of plate, you increase it by. I'm assuming you could go with a, a one by three plate as well and, and just go one more. I didn't actually test that one. And then I thought, well, could that be used for other things? And so I just tested it out. If you use the four plate method, or yeah, the four plate on the bottom, you can actually create your perfect hexagon that connects on these two points and it's essentially the same principle as this but you're connecting on the edges instead of on on two sides and I'm assuming you could do that for anything and that actually would allow for quite a big tower and integration of a tower so I think I'm you know I'm going to use some of these techniques in later builds and We'll see how that goes, but I thought it, it was nice to kind of wrap my head around what's needed to create that that curve or, or a circular pattern with our favorite square bricks. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.